Hello everyone, so this is another one of my showing you my DIY this and this videos, um, I was gonna do a different video, but when I went to Walmart to get the thing that I needed for it, they had nothing, like, they did not have it and anything, they did not have, oh, they did not have anything related to it, so, I'm doing a different video, but when I do get what I was looking for, I will do that video, okay, I will do that video. So, uh, today I'm going to be showing you my DIY Hiccups Flame Sword. Um, I'm just going to pick up the camera here. I made this by hand. So I'll be showing you the sword. It cannot set on fire, sadly. So it's kind of just like a regular sword. But just pretend pretend it can set on fire so let's start at the bottom of the sword so this is the handle i don't know all the sword fancy names so i'm just gonna call it what i think it's called so this is the bottom it has this little part at the bottom of the handle and basically it's tin foil and then light like a nice clay on top i believe it's called model magic uh i might put some of the links of the things that I've used for this in the description if I can and then I went over it with watercolors just kind of to kind of wash it with a grayish color because I didn't want it to just be gray like the sword color I just wanted it to kind of be tinted okay now with the handle I used a paper towel tube roll I don't know paper towel I'm just gonna say tube paper towel tube and it it was like a a really sturdy one, like it's made of really thick cardboard. And I just wrapped it with this brown fabric. There's a little bit sticking out there. I might hot glue that. I just wrapped it with like this brown fabric that I bought. And then I used some bits of red felt. Uh, like on Hiccup's flames, so I guess like two red stripes. So I did that. And I stuck most of like this stuff on with hot glue. Because hot glue is amazing. Um, so now going up here. This is like the dragon head on the sword. And it's supposed to look like it's like breathing the fire. But it can't set on fire. So it doesn't really look like that. So once again it's just tin foil and then clay. And then tinted it with watercolor. And then with the eye I just put some black watercolor and some sharpie. And then the sword is really stuck in there with hot glue. Uh, so yeah, it's double layer cardboard. I just I cut it out. And then put grey paint. And then I put Mod Podge on top. And it's kind of shiny. Let me shine it in the light. You can see it's like shiny. It's my notebook. It's like shiny. So yeah, it's pretty sturdy. I can like do that with it. I still have to find a good place on my wall to like hang it and I can like just pick it up and go set people on fire with it. That would be cool. Maybe not setting people on fire but you know like picking it up and then do something with it. <laughs> so yeah that's basically it. Uh, I'll try to link the materials in the description if you want to try to make this yourself. Including the hot glue. I really like the hot glue and the hot glue gun that I used. I'll put that as well if I can. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!